In mathematics, holomorphic functional calculus is functional calculus with holomorphic functions. That is to say, given a holomorphic function f of a complex argument z and an operator t, the aim is to construct an operator, f t, which naturally extends the function f from complex argument to operator argument. More precisely, the functional calculus defines a continuous algebra homomorphism from the holomorphic functions on a neighborhood of the spectrum of t to the bounded operators. This article will discuss the case where t is a bounded linear operator on some Banach space. In particular, t can be a square matrix with complex entries, a case which will be used to illustrate functional calculus and provide some heuristic insights for the assumptions involved in the general construction. Topic. Motivation Topic. Need for a general functional calculus In this section T will be assumed to be a n times n matrix with complex entries. If a given function f is of certain special type, there are natural ways of defining f t. For instance, if P Z equals I equals zero M A I Z I display style P Z equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot M A underscore I Z carrot I is a complex polynomial. One can simply substitute T for Z and define P T equals I equals zero M A I T I display style P T equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot M A underscore I T carrot I where T zero equals I the identity matrix. This is the polynomial functional calculus. It is a homomorphism from the ring of polynomials to the ring of n times n matrices. Extending slightly from the polynomials, if f, c, c is holomorphic everywhere, i.e. an entire function, with Maclaurin series, f z equals i equals 0 infinity a I Z I display style F Z equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot in a T a underscore I Z carrot I mimicking the polynomial case suggests we define F T equals I equals zero infinity A I T I display style F T equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot in a T a underscore I T carrot I since the Maclaurin series converges everywhere the above series will converge in a chosen operator norm an example of this is the exponential of a matrix replacing Z by T in the Maclaurin series of F Z equals E Z gives F T equals E T equals I plus T plus T two two plus T three three plus Display style f t equals e caret t equals i plus t plus frac t caret two two plus frac t caret three three plus c d o t s. The requirement that the Maclaurin series of f converges everywhere can be relaxed somewhat. From above, it is evident that all that is really needed is the radius of convergence of the Maclaurin series be greater than t, the operator norm of t. This enlarges somewhat the family of f for which f t can be defined using the above approach. 
However it is not quite satisfactory. For instance, it is a fact from matrix theory that every non-singular t has a logarithm s in the sense that s equals t. It is desirable to have a functional calculus that allows one to define, for a non-singular t, lane t, such that it coincides with s. This can not be done via power series, for example the logarithmic series lane z plus 1 equals z minus z 2 2 plus z 3 3 minus Display style lane z plus one equals z frac z caret two two plus frac z caret three three c d o t s converges only on the open unit disk. Substituting t for z in the series fails to give a well-defined expression for lane t plus i for invertible t plus i with t one. Thus, a more general functional calculus is needed. Topic. Functional calculus and the spectrum It is expected that a necessary condition for f t to make sense as f be defined on the spectrum of t for example, the spectral theorem for normal matrices states every normal matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. There leads to a definition of f t when t is normal. One encounters difficulties if f lambda is not defined for some eigenvalue lambda of t. Other indications also reinforce the idea that f t can be defined only if f is defined on the spectrum of t. If t is not invertible, then recalling that t is an nxn matrix, zero is an eigenvalue. Since the natural logarithm is undefined at zero, one would expect that lane t cannot be defined naturally. This is indeed the case. As another example, for f z equals 1 z minus 2 z minus 5 display style f z equals frac 1 z 2 z 5 the reasonable way of calculating f t would seem to be f t equals t minus 2 i minus 1 t minus 5 i minus 1 Display style f t equals t 2 i caret minus 1 t 5 i caret minus 1 However, this expression is not defined if the inverses on the right-hand side do not exist, that is, if either 2 or 5 are eigenvalues of t. For a given matrix t, the eigenvalues of t dictate to what extent f t can be defined, i.e., f lambda must be defined for all eigenvalues lambda of t for a general bounded operator this condition translates to f must be defined on the spectrum of t. This assumption turns out to be an enabling condition such that the functional calculus map, FFT, has certain desirable properties. Topic. Functional calculus for a bounded operator Let X be a complex Banach space, and L X denote the family of bounded operators on X. Recall the Cauchy integral formula from classical function theory. Let f, c, c be holomorphic on some open set d c, and γ be a rectifiable Jordan curve in d, that is, a closed curve of finite length without self-intersections. Assume that the set U of points lying in the inside of γ, i.e. such that the winding number of γ about z is 1, is contained in d. The Cauchy integral formula states f z equals 1 2 pi i gamma f zeta zeta minus z d zeta 
Display style f z equals frac 1 2 pi i int no limits underscore gamma frac f zeta zeta z d zeta for any z and u. The idea is to extend this formula to functions taking values in the Banach space L x. Cauchy's integral formula suggests the following definition, purely formal, for now. F t equals 1 2 pi i gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta Display style f t equals frac 1 2 pi i int underscore gamma frac f zeta zeta t d zeta, where zeta minus t minus 1 is the resolvent of t at zeta. Assuming this Banach space valued integral is appropriately defined, this proposed functional calculus implies the following necessary conditions. As the scalar version of Cauchy's integral formula applies to holomorphic f, we anticipate that is also the case for the Banach space case, where there should be a suitable notion of holomorphy for functions taking values in the Banach space L x. As the resolvent mapping z z minus t minus one is undefined on the spectrum of t sigma t, the Jordan curve gamma should not intersect sigma t. Now, the resolvent mapping will be holomorphic on the complement of sigma t. So to obtain a non-trivial functional calculus, gamma must enclose at least part of sigma t. The functional calculus should be well defined in the sense that f t has to be independent of gamma. The full definition of the functional calculus is as follows: for t element of L x, define f t equals one. 2 pi i gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta display style f t equals frac 1 2 pi i int no limits underscore gamma frac f zeta zeta t d zeta where f is a holomorphic function defined on an open set DC which contains sigma t, and gamma equals gamma 1. Gamma m is a collection of disjoint Jordan curves in D bounding an inside set U, such that sigma t lies in U, and each gamma i is oriented in the boundary sense. The open set D may vary with f and need not be connected or simply connected, as shown by the figures on the right. The following subsections make precise the notions invoked in the definition and show f t is indeed well defined under given assumptions. Topic: <laughs> Banach space valued integral. Cf. Bachner integral for a continuous function g defined in an open neighborhood of gamma and taking values in L x, the contour integral gamma g is defined in the same way as for the scalar case. One can parametrize each gamma i element of gamma by a real interval a, b, and the integral is the limit of the Riemann sums obtained from ever finer partitions of a, b. The Riemann sums converge in the uniform operator topology. We define gamma g equals i gamma i g display style int underscore gamma g equals sum no limits underscore i int underscore gamma underscore i g in the definition of the functional calculus f is assumed to be holomorphic in an open neighborhood of gamma it will be shown below that the resolvent mapping is holomorphic on the resolvent set. Therefore, the integral 1 2 pi i gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta 
Display style FRAC one two pi I int underscore gamma FRAC F zeta zeta T D zeta makes sense. Topic The resolvent mapping. The mapping zeta zeta minus t minus one is called the resolvent mapping of t. It is defined on the complement of sigma t, called the resolvent set of t, and will be denoted by rho t. Much of classical function theory depends on the properties of the integral one two pi i gamma d zeta zeta minus z display style frac 1 2 pi i in underscore gamma frac d zeta zeta z the holomorphic functional calculus is similar in that the resolvent mapping plays a crucial role in obtaining properties one requires from a nice functional calculus this subsection outlines properties of the resolvent map that are essential in this context topic the first resolvent formula Direct calculation shows, for Z1, Z2 element of rho T Z1 minus T minus 1 minus Z2 minus T minus 1 equals z 1 minus t minus 1 z 2 minus z 1 z 2 minus t minus 1 Display style Z underscore one T carrot minus one Z underscore two T carrot minus one equals Z underscore one T carrot minus one Z underscore two Z underscore one Z underscore two T carrot minus one. Therefore Z one minus T minus one Z two minus T minus one equals Z one minus T minus one minus Z two minus T minus one Z two minus Z one Display style Z underscore one T carrot minus one Z underscore two T carrot minus one equals FRAC Z underscore one T carrot minus one Z underscore two T carrot minus one Z underscore two Z underscore one this equation is called the first resolvent formula. The formula shows Z1 minus T minus 1 and Z2 minus T minus 1 commute, which hints at the fact that the image of the functional calculus will be a commutative algebra. Letting Z2 Z1 shows the resolvent map as complex differentiable at each Z1 element of rho T, so the integral in the expression of functional calculus converges in L x. Topic. Analyticity Stronger statement than differentiability can be made regarding the resolvent map. The resolvent set ρ is actually an open set on which the resolvent map is analytic. This property will be used in subsequent arguments for the functional calculus. To verify this claim, let Z1 element of ρ and notice the formal expression 1 Z 2 minus t equals 1 
z 1 minus t 1 1 minus z 1 minus z 2 z 1 minus t Display style FRAC one Z underscore two T equals FRAC one Z underscore one T C D O T FRAC one one FRAC Z underscore one Z underscore two Z underscore one T suggests we consider Z one minus T minus one N zero Z one minus Z two Z one Minus T minus one N display style Z underscore one T carrot minus one sum underscore N G E Q zero left Z underscore one Z underscore two Z underscore one T carrot minus one right carrot N for Z two minus T minus one. The above series converges in L x, which implies the existence of z2 minus t minus 1, if z1 minus z2, 1, z1 minus t minus 1. Display style z underscore 1, z underscore 2. Therefore, the resolvent set rho t is open, and the power series expression on an open disk centered at z1 element of rho t shows the resolvent map as analytic on rho t. Topic Newman series Another expression for Z minus T minus 1 will also be useful. The formal expression 1 Z minus T equals 1 Z 1 1 minus T Z display style FRAC 1 Z T equals FRAC 1 Z C D O T FRAC 1 1 FRAC T Z leads one to consider 1 Z N 0 T Z N Display style FRAC one Z sum underscore N G E Q zero left FRAC T Z right carrot N this series, the Newman series, converges to Z minus T minus one if T Z one, i.e. Z greater than T. Display style left FRAC T Z right T. Topic Compactness of sigma t. From the last two properties of the resolvent, we can deduce that the spectrum sigma t of a bounded operator t is a compact subset of C. Therefore, for any open set D such that sigma t d, there exists a positively oriented and smooth system of Jordan curves gamma equals gamma one. Gamma M such that sigma T is in the inside of gamma and the complement of D is contained in the outside of gamma. Hence, for the definition of the functional calculus, indeed a suitable family of Jordan curves can be found for each F that is holomorphic on some D. Equals. Topic: Well definedness. Equals. The previous discussion has shown that the integral makes sense, i.e. a suitable collection gamma of Jordan curves does exist for each f and the integral does converge in the appropriate sense. What has not been shown is that the definition of the functional calculus is unambiguous, i.e. does not depend on the choice of gamma. This issue we now try to resolve. Equals. Topic. A preliminary fact. Topic. For a collection of Jordan curves gamma gamma 1 gamma m and a point a element of C, the winding number of gamma with respect to A is the sum of the winding numbers of its elements. If we define n gamma a equals i n gamma I A 
Display style n gamma a equals sum no limits underscore i n gamma underscore i a. The following theorem is by Cauchy. Theorem. Let G C be an open set and gamma G if G G C is holomorphic, and for all a in the complement of G n gamma a equals zero, then the contour integral of G on gamma is zero. We will need the vector valued analog of this result when G takes values in L x. To this end, let G, G L x be holomorphic, with the same assumptions on gamma, the idea is use the dual space L x asterisk of L x, and pass to Cauchy's theorem for the scalar case. Consider the integral gamma G element of L x Display style int underscore gamma g in L x. If we can show that all phi element of L x asterisk vanish on this integral, then the integral itself has to be zero. Since phi is bounded and the integral converges in norm, we have phi gamma g equals gamma phi g. Display style phi left in underscore gamma g right equals in underscore gamma phi g. But g is holomorphic, hence the composition phi g g c c is holomorphic, and therefore by Cauchy's theorem, gamma phi g equals zero. Display style in underscore gamma phi g equals zero. Topic. Main argument The well-definedness of functional calculus now follows as an easy consequence. Let D be an open set containing sigma t. Suppose gamma. Topic. Gamma i and omega Omega j are two finite collections of Jordan curves satisfying the assumption given for the functional calculus. We wish to show gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta equals omega f zeta zeta minus T D Zeta Display style int underscore gamma FRAC F Zeta Zeta T D Zeta equals int underscore Omega FRAC F Zeta Zeta T D Zeta Let Omega be obtained from Omega by reversing the orientation of each Omega J, then Omega F Zeta Zeta Minus T D Zeta equals minus Omega F Zeta Zeta minus T D Zeta Display style int underscore omega frac f zeta zeta t d zeta equals int underscore omega frac f zeta zeta t d zeta. Consider the union of the two collections gamma omega. Both gamma omega and sigma t are compact, so there is some open set U containing gamma omega such that sigma t lies in the complement of U. Any a in the complement of U has winding number n gamma omega a equals zero and the function zeta f zeta zeta minus t display style zeta right arrow frac f zeta zeta t is holomorphic on U. So the vector valued version of Cauchy's theorem gives gamma Omega F Zeta Zeta minus T D Zeta equals zero. 
Display style int underscore gamma cup omega frac f zeta zeta t d zeta equals zero, i.e. gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta plus omega f zeta zeta minus t d zeta equals gamma f zeta zeta minus t d zeta minus omega f zeta zeta minus t d zeta equals 0 Display style int underscore gamma frac f zeta zeta t d zeta plus int underscore omega frac f zeta zeta t d zeta equals int underscore gamma frac f zeta zeta t d zeta int underscore omega frac f zeta zeta t d zeta equals zero. Hence, the functional calculus is well defined. Consequently, if f1 and f2 are two holomorphic functions defined on neighborhoods d1 and d2 of sigma t, and they are equal on an open set containing sigma t, then f1 t equals f2 t. Moreover, even though the d1 may not be d2, the operator f1 plus f2 t is well defined. Same holds for the definition of f1 f2 t equals. Topic. On the assumption that f be holomorphic over an open neighborhood of sigma t equals, it should be noted that so far the full strength of this assumption has not been used. For convergence of the integral, only continuity was used. For well-definedness, we only needed f to be holomorphic on an open set U containing the contours gamma omega, but not necessarily sigma t. The assumption will be applied in its entirety in showing the homomorphism property of the functional calculus. Equals. <laughs> Topic properties. Equals. <laughs> Topic polynomial case. The linearity of the map FF t follows from the convergence of the integral and that linear operations on a Banach space are continuous. We recover the polynomial functional calculus when f z topic 0 i m i z is a polynomial. To prove this, it is sufficient to show for k 0 and f z ZK, it is true that F T equals T K, i.e. 1 2 Pi I Gamma Zeta K Zeta minus T D Zeta equals T K Display style frac 1 2 pi i in underscore gamma frac zeta caret k zeta t d zeta equals t caret k for any suitable gamma enclosing sigma t. Choose gamma to be a circle of radius greater than the operator norm of t as stated above. On such gamma, the resolvent map admits a power series representation z minus t minus 1 equals 1 z n 0 t z n 
Display style z t caret minus one equals frac one z sum underscore n g e q zero left frac t z right caret n. Substituting gives f t equals one two pi i gamma n zero T N Zeta N plus one minus K D Zeta Display style F T equals FRAC one two pi I in underscore gamma left sum underscore N G E Q zero FRAC T carrot N Zeta carrot N plus one K right D Zeta which is N zero T N one two pi I gamma D Zeta Zeta N plus one minus K equals N zero T N Delta N K equals T K Display style sum underscore n g e q zero t caret n c d o t frac one two pi i left int underscore gamma frac d zeta zeta caret n plus one k right equals sum underscore n g e q zero t caret n c d o t delta underscore n k equals t caret k. The delta is the Kronecker delta symbol. Topic: The homomorphism property. For any f1 and f2 satisfying the appropriate assumptions, the homomorphism property states: f1 t f2 t equals f1 f2 t. Display style f underscore one t f underscore two t equals f underscore one c d o t f underscore two t. We sketch an argument which invokes the first resolvent formula and the assumptions placed on f. First, we choose the Jordan curves such that gamma one lies in the inside of gamma two. The reason for this will become clear below. Start by calculating directly f. One T F two T equals one two Pi I Gamma one F one Zeta Zeta minus T D Zeta one Two Pi I Gamma two F two Omega Omega minus T D Omega equals one two Pi I two Gamma one gamma two F one Zeta F two Omega Zeta minus T Omega minus T D Omega D Zeta equals one two pi I two gamma 
1 gamma 2 f 1 zeta f 2 omega zeta minus t minus 1 minus omega minus t minus 1 omega minus zeta d omega d zeta first resolvent formula equals 1 2 pi i 2 gamma 1 f 1 zeta zeta minus t gamma 2 f 2 omega omega minus zeta d omega d zeta minus gamma 2 f 2 omega omega minus t gamma 1 f 1 zeta omega minus zeta d zeta d omega equals 1 2 pi i 2 gamma 1 F one zeta zeta minus T gamma two F two Omega Omega minus zeta D Omega D zeta display style begin aligned F underscore one T F underscore two T and equals left FRAC one two pi I int underscore gamma underscore one FRAC F underscore one zeta zeta T D zeta right left FRAC one two pi I int underscore gamma underscore two FRAC F underscore two Omega Omega T D Omega right and equals FRAC one two pi I carrot two int underscore gamma underscore one in underscore gamma underscore two FRAC F underscore one Zeta F underscore two Omega Zeta T Omega T D Omega D Zeta and equals FRAC one two pi I carrot two in underscore gamma underscore Underscore one in underscore gamma underscore two F underscore one Zeta F underscore two Omega left FRAC Zeta T carrot minus one Omega T carrot minus one Omega Zeta right D Omega D Zeta and in text first resolvent formula and equals FRAC one two pi I carrot two left left int underscore gamma underscore one FRAC F underscore one Zeta Zeta T left int underscore gamma underscore two FRAC F underscore two Omega Omega Zeta D Omega right D Zeta right left int underscore gamma underscore two FRAC F underscore two Omega Omega T left int underscore gamma underscore one FRAC F underscore one Zeta Omega Zeta D Zeta right D Omega right right and equals FRAC a C one two pi I carrot two in underscore gamma underscore one F R A C F underscore one Zeta Zeta T left int underscore gamma underscore two F R A C F underscore two Omega Omega Zeta D Omega right D Zeta end aligned the last line follows from the fact that Omega element of gamma two lies outside of gamma one and F one is holomorphic on some open neighborhood of sigma T and there Therefore the second term vanishes. Therefore, we have F 1 T F 2 T equals 1 2 pi I gamma 
1 f 1 zeta zeta minus t 1 2 pi i gamma 2 f 2 omega omega minus zeta d omega d zeta equals 1 2 pi i gamma 1 f 1 zeta zeta minus t f 2 zeta d zeta cauchy's integral formula equals 1 2 pi i gamma 1 f 1 zeta f 2 zeta zeta minus t d zeta equals f 1 f 2 t display style begin aligned f underscore 1 t f underscore 2 t and equals frac 1 2 pi i int underscore gamma underscore 1 frac f underscore 1 zeta zeta t left frac 1 2 pi i int underscore gamma underscore 2 frac C F underscore two Omega Omega Zeta D Omega right D Zeta and equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore gamma underscore one FRAC F underscore one Zeta Zeta T left F underscore two Zeta right D Zeta and in text Couchy's integral formula and equals FRAC one two Pi I int underscore gamma underscore one FRAC F underscore one Zeta F underscore two Zeta Zeta T D Zeta and equals F underscore one C D O T F underscore two T end aligned. Topic Continuity with respect to compact convergence. Let G C be open with sigma T G. Suppose a sequence F K of holomorphic functions on G converges uniformly on compact subsets of G. This is sometimes called compact convergence. Then F K T is convergent in L X. Assume for simplicity that gamma consists of only one Jordan curve. We estimate F K T minus F L T equals one two pi gamma F K minus F L Zeta Zeta minus T D Zeta 1 2 pi gamma f k minus f l zeta zeta minus t minus 1 d zeta display style begin aligned left f underscore k t f underscore l t right and equals frac 1 2 pi left int underscore gamma frac f underscore k f underscore l zeta zeta t d zeta right and leq frac 1 2 pi int underscore gamma Left F underscore K F underscore L Zeta right C D O T left Zeta T carrot minus one right D Zeta end aligned by combining the uniform convergence assumption and various continuity considerations, we see that the above tends to zero as K L infinity. So F K T is Cauchy, therefore convergent. Topic Uniqueness To summarize, we have shown the holomorphic functional calculus, FFT, has the following properties. It extends the polynomial functional calculus. It is an algebra homomorphism from the algebra of holomorphic functions defined on a neighborhood of sigma t to L x. It preserves uniform convergence on compact sets. It can be proved that a calculus satisfying the above properties is unique. 
We note that, everything discussed so far holds verbatim if the family of bounded operators L X is replaced by a Banach algebra A. The functional calculus can be defined in exactly the same way for an element in A. Topic. Spectral considerations Topic. Spectral mapping theorem It is known that the spectral mapping theorem holds for the polynomial functional calculus, for any polynomial p, sigma p t equals p sigma t. This can be extended to the holomorphic calculus. To show f sigma t sigma f t, let mu be any complex number. By a result from complex analysis, there exists a function g holomorphic on a neighborhood of sigma t such that f z minus f mu equals z minus mu g z. Display style f z f mu equals z mu g z. According to the homomorphism property, f t minus f mu equals t minus mu g t. Therefore, mu element of sigma t implies f mu element of sigma f t. For the other inclusion, if mu is not in f sigma t, then the functional calculus is applicable to g z equals 1 f z minus mu display style g z equals frac 1 f z mu so g t f t minus mu equals i therefore mu does not lie in sigma f t equals Topic. Spectral projections equals The underlying idea is as follows. Suppose that K is a subset of sigma t and U, V are disjoint neighborhoods of K and sigma t K respectively. Define E Z equals 1 if Z element of U and E Z. Topic. 0 if z element of v then e is a holomorphic function with e z 2 e z and so for a suitable contour gamma which lies in uv and which encloses sigma t the linear operator e t equals 1 2 pi i gamma E Z Z minus T D Z display style E T equals frac 1 2 pi i int underscore gamma frac E Z Z T D Z will be a bounded projection that commutes with T and provides a great deal of useful information. It transpires that this scenario is possible if and only if K is both open and closed in the subspace topology on sigma t. Moreover, the set V can be safely ignored since E is zero on it and therefore makes no contribution to the integral. The projection E t is called the spectral projection of T at K and is denoted by P k t. Thus every subset K of sigma t that is both open and closed in the subspace topology has an associated spectral projection given by P K T equals 1 2 pi i gamma d z z minus t Display style p k t equals frac 1 2 pi i int no limits underscore gamma frac d z z t, where gamma is a contour that encloses k but no other points of sigma t. Since p 
topic p k t is bounded and commutes with t it enables t to be expressed in the form uv where u t p x and v equals t 1 minus p x both px and 1 minus px are invariant subspaces of t moreover sigma u equals k and sigma v topic sigma t k a key property is mutual orthogonality if l is another open and closed set in the subspace topology on sigma t then p k t p l t P L T P K T equals P K L T, which is zero whenever K and L are disjoint. Spectral projections have numerous applications. Any isolated point of sigma T is both open and closed in the subspace topology and therefore has an associated spectral projection. When X has finite dimension sigma T consists of isolated points and the resultant spectral projections lead to a variant of Jordan normal form wherein all the Jordan blocks corresponding to the same eigenvalue are consolidated. In other words there is precisely one block per distinct eigenvalue. The next section considers this decomposition in more detail. Sometimes spectral projections inherit properties from their parent operators. For example if T is a positive matrix with spectral radius R then the Perron Frobenius theorem asserts that R element of sigma T. The associated spectral projection P. Topic. P R T is also positive and by mutual orthogonality no other spectral projection can have a positive row or column. In fact T P. R P and T R N P is N infinity, so this projection P, which is called the Perron projection, approximates T R N as N increases, and each of its columns is an eigenvector of T. More generally, if T is a compact operator, then all non-zero points in sigma T are isolated, and so any finite subset of them can be used to decompose T. The associated spectral projection always has finite rank. Those operators in L X with similar spectral characteristics are known as Riesz operators. Many classes of Riesz operators including the compact operators are ideals in L X and provide a rich field for research. However if X is a Hilbert space there is exactly one closed ideal sandwiched between the Riesz operators and those of finite rank. Much of the foregoing discussion can be set in the more general context of a complex Banach algebra. Here spectral projections are referred to as spectral idempotents since there may no longer be a space for them to project onto. Topic: <laughs> Invariant subspace decomposition. If the spectrum sigma t is not connected, x can be decomposed into invariant subspaces of t using the functional calculus. Let sigma t be a disjoint union. Sigma t equals i equals one m f i. Display style sigma t equals big cup underscore i equals one caret m f underscore i. Define A to be 1 on some neighborhood that contains only the component phi and 0 elsewhere. By the homomorphism property, A t is a projection for all i. In fact it is just the spectral projection P phi t described above. The relation A t t equals t A t means the range of each A t, denoted by xi, is an invariant subspace of t since i e i T equals I display style sum underscore I e underscore I T equals I X can be expressed in terms of these complementary subspaces X equals I X I display style X equals sum underscore I X underscore I 
Similarly, if T is T restricted to Xi, then T equals I T I display style T equals sum underscore I T underscore I. Consider the direct sum x equals I x I. Display style x equals big O plus underscore i x underscore i with the norm i x i equals i x i display style left big O plus underscore i x underscore i right equals sum underscore i x underscore i x is a Banach space. The mapping R X X defined by R I X I equals I X I display style R left big O plus underscore I X underscore I right equals sum underscore I X underscore I is a Banach space isomorphism, and we see that R T R minus one equals I T I display style R T R caret minus one equals big O plus underscore I T underscore I. This can be viewed as a block diagonalization of T. When x is finite dimensional, sigma T equals lambda I is a finite set of points in the complex plane. Choose A to be one on an open disk containing only lambda i from the spectrum. The corresponding block diagonal matrix i t i display style big O plus underscore i t underscore i is the Jordan canonical form of T. Topic: Related results. With stronger assumptions, when T is a normal operator acting on a Hilbert space, the domain of the functional calculus can be broadened. When comparing the two results, a rough analogy can be made with the relationship between the spectral theorem for normal matrices and the Jordan canonical form. When T is a normal operator, a continuous functional calculus can be obtained, that is, one can evaluate F T with F being a continuous function defined on sigma T. Using the machinery of measure theory, this can be extended to functions which are only measurable. See Borel functional calculus. In that context, if E sigma t is a Borel set and E x is the characteristic function of E, the projection operator E t is a refinement of A t discussed above. The Borel functional calculus extends to unbounded self-adjoint operators on a Hilbert space. In slightly more abstract language, the holomorphic functional calculus can be extended to any element of a Banach algebra, using essentially the same arguments as above. Similarly, the continuous functional calculus holds for normal elements in any C** algebra and the measurable functional calculus for normal elements in any von Neumann algebra. Topic: <laughs> Unbounded operators. A holomorphic functional calculus can be defined in a similar fashion for unbounded closed operators with non-empty resolvent set. Topic. See also. Resolvent formalism. Jordan canonical form, where the finite-dimensional case is discussed in some detail.